Hello and welcome to part 5 of the 17 inch MacBook Pro series. In today's video we will be upgrading this to a 2012 spec and we are over at DOS Lab with DOS Dude one aka Colin Mister. How's it going? So yeah today we'll be doing that and let's get to it. Anyway guys, I'm Greg Rudke at Rudke Mods, and today we will be upgrading this system to Ivy Bridge and using, what was it, Core Boot? Core Boot. Core Boot. And uh, making this actually boot. It's going to basically turn it into a Hackintosh, kinda. Yep, basically a Hackintosh. Basically a Hackintosh, but still Mac hardware, so technically Apple can't get mad at us anyway. So, yay Eula. So anyway, so uh, let's get to it. All right, Colin, so what are we going to be doing today? Well, for this one, this is a 2011 17-inch, and I'm just going to be doing an Ivy Bridge swap on it with these two chips here, which I've already reballed and taken off another board. Yeah, we were originally going to do the iBoth mod also, but he didn't... I experimented with that previously with this upgrade, and I couldn't get it working so far. And he also missed the fact that I said we need to do a 2012 swap too, so... We're putting a 2.3 gigahertz uh, uh, i7 on it, which is sort of a downgrade, but we're going to a smaller manufacturing process, and we still have HD 4000 graphics. And it's the only one I have on hand, so that's why. Yeah. So, if anything, we may be doing another update on this thing before you know it. Um, the next time I come and visit him, doing a uh, even better CPU swap. Yep. But right now, this will work, and in the end, the system still will perform better. So, the biggest upgrade, of course, is that you get metal compatible video. Exactly. So I'll let Colin do his thing, and um, I can't remember what I was getting ready to do. <laughs> Crap. Well, now we have to modify the heat sink slightly. Fine. It's a little messy because, well, I haven't cleaned it yet. Ivy Bridge CPU 3615QM, and then an Ivy Bridge uh, 7 Series PCH. And then I removed the GPU just for clearance purposes. Uh, that's also why I modified the heatsink, and then uh, everything should just work. USB 3 card in it already. Oh, nice. I actually want to test that. You haven't tested it yet? No. Colin! What do you mean? What are the chances I'll end up losing my USB 3? Oh, uh, like 20%. Oh, I hope it's, <laughs> it's a lot lower than that. The port's enabled. I enabled it in my config. Yeah. Listen, I think I did. I'll, I'll have to. I could test more, obviously. Okay. 
So you're adding power to the chip, so you have to turn the system on? Well, I can't do it with the system on. So you're turning the chip on. Well, so the issue is the board has a lot of stuff connected to this rail. Yeah. It will override it. And it's less. too much for the this programmer to supply. All right, we're done. Awesome. That. So now it should do something. Now it should do something. So right now we're just trying RAM until something happens. It's not behaving exactly as I expect though. Hmm. There might have been something wrong with that PCH because it was kind of crappy. Usually when it does, it turns on briefly. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. It's yeah. got an old version of DMUX on it. I need to flash it again. Oh, yeah. Because I found an issue with it that only caused issues with Core Boot that I had to fix. Yeah, yeah it's got one from January of last year on it. So this would only be a problem with the old, older flash if people wanted to run it. Yeah, cool. It doesn't pose an issue with the uh, stock system firmware, which is weird. That's why I never noticed it. it That's what I expected it to. Yeah. It is weird. There we go. Yay! Thirty-six fifteen QM. Oh, so that's good and working. Let's try both. It might have no problem with your RAM. I hope that would be convenient. Yeah. Yeah, it works fine. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Cool. Now I'll just finish putting it back together. Alright. So what are we doing now? Rooting off my install. So I can copy my config over. Cool. It's gonna be something I'm gonna probably have to be taught. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now it should just boot normally. Did you put the screws in the base yet? Yeah. That's just a really bad shadow. It looks like there's a huge cap in the case. Oh, you have non-metal patches installed. Yeah. Quite aware of that, considering there's no metal in the system. <laughs> well, there is now, so now it's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Quite aware of that, too. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's definitely not accelerated now. <laughs> I can un... I forgot, because it's snapshotted, I can undo the patches. So now when you run the patches, what kind of patches do you need to do? The Ivy Bridge patch. So you patch it like a 2015 MacBook Pro. It, open Core Legacy Patcher takes care of that. Does it? Yeah, you'll see in just a second here. It is weird that the screen is now light gray. What do you mean? The yeah, Apple logo screen. Oh, yeah. That's normal for verbose booting. If well, you go back to normal. Probably explain it. If you go back to non verbose, it won't do that. Man, I'm going to have to blur your hands a lot for my password. What is it? I'm going to have to blur your hands a lot for my password.
And there we go, full metal graphics acceleration with Intel HD graphics 4000. It's so crazy. But does the USB still work? Because I don't see it anymore. What do you mean? It's not popping up in the corner. Like I said, it might not. I need to enable it. I yeah. thought I enabled the right PCI Express port for it. Yeah, we're going to need to enable it because I kind of need the USB 3. You technically have it, you just can't access it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how I installed uh, Monterey on it last time was USB 3. Man, that was the fastest Monterey install I'd ever done. All right, guys, so that's the end of part five today. Uh, Colin did successfully get it to work here, as we can see right here. Uh, we've got the 2.3 gigahertz i7 quad core, 16 gigs of RAM. It only reads half the speed of the RAM, but that's still the right speed. And uh, HD 4000 graphics. And uh, here's all the specs. It thinks it's a 15 inch mid 2012 MacBook. And it just seems to work totally fine. As we can see here. Seems to be pretty good. So anyway, guys, I am going to actually leave this system with Colin because um, it still needs some work done to it. He's trying to figure out some firmware bugs. Um, it works totally fine, but um, there's like the um, express card port doesn't work currently. And there's a few other little bugs. Plus, he's thinking of experimenting with a few other parts that uh, I want this thing here for when he actually successfully does it so awesome so yeah guys so that's the end of today's video uh this is the last video i'm going to be able to film over at dos lab for a while thank you colin for having me yep of course um yeah and yeah that's about the end of today's video don't forget i do now have a patreon if you'd like to support me there'll be a link at the in the description and at the end of the video and also i do now have memberships and you guys can see these videos at least a day early if not uh earlier than that so if you'd like to help support me i'd greatly appreciate it and this has been a rock mods video upgrade series today we are over at dos lab with colin mester aka dos dude one you're not going to say anything what did you want me to say Hi. Uh, let me uh, let's do it again. <laughs> I was too busy concentrating on this. <laughs> Yay, Eula. So anyway, so uh, let's get to it. It's still Apple branded hardware. That's the term they use. In there. Yep.